Yes. In my last video, I mentioned my new airbrush compressor, and I thought I would show you it because while I said that it was quieter than my old Chinese one, quiet with these things is uh, is all relative. So let me just turn it on, and I'll uh, let you judge for yourself. Yeah, so it's still quite loud, but you'll notice that most of it is because of the the casing. If I turn it back on and I'm, I press it, yeah. So the case seems to have a severe rattle, and I'm wondering if I. Put it on some rubber mat, maybe that'll take some of the rattle away, and then it'll be a lot quieter. It's still quieter than the old one, but not quiet, if that makes sense. So I think this this metal case and uh, something to mitigate the vibration might be in order. But as as an airbrush compressor, it is good. I don't like the fact that this dial is basically something that you work with via feel, whereas the cheap one, the cheap one actually shows you the PSI right there. The expensive one, even though I got it half price, um, doesn't have that, which is interesting. Um, so this is my iWater airbrush. It's not the most expensive to do, it's actually probably the budget <laughs> end of what they do but this is my 2.5 or was it not 0.25 I don't know the the smaller needle which uh, I use for detail stuff and uh, like I said before in my previous video I do undercoat primer with that guy where's my where's my chunky boy this is the guy that uh, I use for my laser cut stuff and really big deals, 3, 3D prints, props and stuff because this is for doing mass amounts of paint. I got this for the details. 